In a previous video, I discussed the concept of utility and risk preferences, and, and we talked about whether someone was risk averse or risk neutral or a risk lover. And while I provided a graphical example, I did not provide a numerical example, and I had a viewer who asked this question. So let me follow up that video, and I'll post a link so you can watch that if you haven't already seen that. Let's consider the case where an individual is considering a gamble. And the gamble has a 50% chance of winning 50,000 and a 50% chance of winning 150,000. Now, if we figure out what the expected value of the gamble is, it's just a weighted average, 50% uh, times 50,000 plus 50% 50 times 150,000. So the average is 100,000. That's the expected value of the gamble. But what's the utility that the person receives? Well, in order to calculate utility, and we have a utility curve here, or a utility function, where does that come from? You're going to have to make an assumption about what the utility function looks like. Now here I've just drawn it and I've shown you the utility you receive um, when you get certain levels of wealth. And I've also drawn a line here that shows you the utility of this um, expected value, the gamble, right? The 50% chance of a, a 50,000, the 50% chance of 150,000 gives you a straight line. But where do these numbers come from? Well, in order to compute the utility, you have to define what the utility function is. So in this case, I'm going to define utility as a function of wealth. And I'm going to use the utility function that wealth is equal to, uh, utility of wealth is equal to wealth raised to the one half power, the square root of W. There are a lot of different utility functions you could use. I'm going to use this because it actually turns out that it gives you some nice properties that the person is risk averse. You know, utility is, is subject to argument because you can't actually see someone's utility function. You can observe how they behave and then you can try and formulate a utility function based on their behavior. But let's see how this looks. All right, what I've done here is I um, went into Excel and I just computed some numbers. So here I put some, some wealth numbers and I put them in uh, smaller units. Okay, so this is uh, 0, 5, but this would be 5,000, 10,000, you know, uh, 15,000, 100,000. And over here I just have the square root of those numbers and you can see it quite easily. The square root of 100 is 10. The, uh, you know, the square root of 25 is 5. So that's all we're computing. This is going to be the utility you receive for each level of wealth. And if you want to graph that, you get this utility function. That's where the utility function comes from. All right, let's take a look at an example here. So let's find the utility um, for a person receiving $100,000 with certainty. By definition, it's just the square root of the amount of wealth they have. So if we take the square root of the 100,000, we get 316.23. What's the utility from the gamble of the 50% chance of winning 50,000 and the 50% chance of winning 150,000? Well, it's 50% times the utility you receive if you get 50,000 plus 50% times the utility you receive if you get 150,000. So if we do this calculation, the square root of 50,000 times 0.5 is 111.8. Um, the square root of 150,000 times 0.5 is 193.65. So if you add them together, you get 305.45. So what do we see here? This number is bigger than this number. That means that this individual, and you can see it from the graph we drew, actually gets greater utility by receiving the 100000 with certainty rather than receiving the gambled amount. So in this case, the person is risk averse. Similarly, I could have drawn 
a graph where um, the person was risk neutral or the person was uh, a risk lover. But I just wanted to show you how you actually do the computations. What you need to do is you need to be able to define the utility function, in this case as a function of wealth, and then you just calculate the utility they receive based on the amount of wealth they have using that function. So I hope, I hope you find that helpful and thanks for watching.